you've strolled down Dexter Avenue lately, you've probably noticed these large space available signs plastered on many of the buildings. These are the properties the city is targeting. The city council plans to hold a public hearing on a ban on this a cell phone, holding it up to your ear or holding it in your hand. The chairman of the Alabama Democratic Conference, Joe Reed, is saying the black congressman now running for governor snubbed them first. There is certainly no rest for the weary. Even right now, campaign volunteers are helping to set up. Now, this may be what you're used to seeing of what's going on down here. Globs of tar balls that are being washed up along the beach, but then expand the picture a little bit and you see trash bags of tar balls that are already being cleaned up. Expand the picture a little bit more. You see a clean beach that's still open for business. Security and safety is a top concern here at the new Bellingrath Middle School. That's why when you walk around the school, you'll notice lots of open doors and windows. So that way you can keep everyone accountable on the inside and out. Usually in the middle of June, it's hard to find a clear spot here on the beach at Gulf Shores, but now take your pick. Some renters say this scene is caused by images that are floating around of what's happening on the Gulf when they say that shouldn't be the case. Drive down Beach Boulevard in Gulf Shores and you're bound to find vacancy sign after vacancy sign in front of beach condos and hotels that usually turn away guests in June. Now it's cancellations they can't get rid of. We thought about that also and thought about going maybe farther on, but this is where we love to come. Susan Martin admits thoughts of oil everywhere swirled in her mind before she arrived. When we got here, we came straight to the beach to see and I think we're pleasantly surprised. Now this may be what you're used to seeing of what's going on down here. Globs of tar balls that are being washed up along the beach, but then expand the picture a little bit and you see trash bags of tar balls that are already being cleaned up. Expand the picture a little bit more. You see a clean beach that's still open for business. May put things into perspective. When you're not there and you do see something on TV, you just see what you see on TV and you don't have the big picture. Josie Schneider with Regatta Condominiums fears some news reports may have caused hotels to be only operating at a 30% occupancy rate and to cut prices. So obviously, um, you know, you might step in some oil, you know, but we do have a lot of people that are just coming to enjoy our, our pool and enjoy each other's company. And it may just take some adapting when pulling up a chair across from oil or reading a book while a tractor goes by, but Martin says it's still the beach. I told my girls yesterday, I said, okay, this is history. There's a bulldozer going in front of us on the beach. We're still able to come out here and do what we typically do. We may not play in the water as much, but we still come. Now, renters say it's best to call them before you come or cancel your vacation to the beach. Some of them are even offering to take pictures to assure those worried minds. For now in Gulf Shores, Jenna Deary, CBS 8 News. Now back to you. When Hyundai called four and a half years ago, Ik Su Shin answered. He left his home in South Korea with his family of five to supervise quality control at the Hyundai plant in Montgomery. Korean culture is only my own experience, but in here is different culture. To adapt to his new culture, Ik Su adopted the American name James and a new way of living. What is your favorite thing about living here? Living here? Uh, Maybe cold. Uh, RTJ is one of the best, best playground to play the golf. Since Shin and the Hyundai plant came to Montgomery, the city has seen a noticeable change. I think it's been wonderful that we have had so many Korean nationals come to live in Montgomery and the great diversity. Korean markets call shopping centers home. Residents are tasting Korean cuisine and churches serve Korean believers. But the most notable change over the past five years, Hyundai's employment increased from 1,472 employees to now around 2,700. Plus, car production from 160 cars per day to now 1,200 cars per day. Hyundai has shown that it is an aggressive company, that it wants to grow, that it wants to continue to grow and be a part of the U.S. economy. Shin considers himself part of Montgomery and wants to deliver a message from his home country. Montgomery is the most beautiful city of Korea. And the city welcomes them to come. When I saw Bobby Ann Finley in a holding cell at the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office today, she couldn't seem to stop crying. Investigators say maybe because after 17 years of scamming people, she knows she's been caught. I have 
four different warrants right now. They're non-extraditable warrants, but I'm on my way back up to Washington to turn myself in for them. That was what Bobby Ann Finley, known nationwide as the military mistress, told us on June 3rd. Now, though, she's in Montgomery, arms folded, facing a judge in her first court appearance on theft of services charges. We're going to hold her until the court say release her. Montgomery County Sheriff D.T. Marshall okay. found Finley in New Orleans. A Millbrook couple took her there two weeks ago. She was arrested last week on charges of failing to pay a $240 food tab. Sheriff Marshall paid $150 to have her extradited from New Orleans. He says to make her pay for ripping off at least two Montgomery businesses with bad checks. She comes into Montgomery and says she thinks she's going to rip folks off and get away with it. And it's just, it's not going to happen. Folks across the country claim she ripped them off too. Among them are her husbands. At least 11 military personnel who say they were married to her claim she left them in financial ruins. Like husband number two, Shad Bowers in San Diego, California. He just heard of her arrest. Uh, relieved that she can't be out there doing this to anybody else. But I know she is a scam artist. Finley told us during her June 3rd interview, she's ready to face the penalties for her crimes. All I can do is take responsibility for the things that I have done and, you know, do the time that I have to do on it. Sheriff Marshall says Finley could face up to 12 years in jail if convicted. He says she's already served an eight-month jail sentence once before on theft-related charges in Texas. For CBS 8 News, I'm Jenna Deary. Now back to you. I'm Jenna Deary in Encino, California at the Jackson Family Compound. To bring you the This Is It, a CBS 8 Jackson Family exclusive.